Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 tutorial. Guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make some color corrections in seconds, or well, minutes to be accurate, but it is super fast. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to show you how to take some washed out footage like I've got here and make it pop with high contrast, everything. You can imagine we're going to use one one effect and one effect only, and that is Lumetri Color. It's part of Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, and I believe it's in some of the older versions, CC 2019, 2018, etc. So let's just roll through this. Okay, the first step here, I've got some footage. I dragged and dropped it into the project, just like that. I'm going to drag and drop it into the timeline, and I'm going to scroll through it. And it's, you know what, it's just some pretty girl making faces, and, uh, well, they make faces at me usually. <laughs> Not these kind of faces though, but whatever, you know how it is guys. Um, but anyways, jokes aside, it's just some pretty girl doing her thing, but you're going to see here that the colors don't pop. It's kind of washed out. There's some depth of field action going on. It's good footage, but we want to make it vibrant and pop. So again, I say that word too many times. So if you guys want to follow along, I'll just quickly show you where I got it. You can go to pexels.com slash video. And again, you guys can download free videos here. So um, these are just stock videos that you can download, and well, here's here's this one. So um, follow, just take anyone to follow along, but here we go. All right, guys, the next step. Now, all right, here we go. All right, click on this bad boy. You're going to click on it, and you're going to see here at the top, you're going to see effects. Now, under effects, we have Lumetri Color. If you do not see the workspace effects, go up to Window, Workspaces, and make sure that effects is showing. That's it. Now, we're in effects. On the right side here for me, and it could be somewhere else for you, depending on how your thing's set up, but for me, it's right here, and it's called Lumetri Color. Left click on that, and you're going to see it drop down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of options. Now, there's a bunch of things you can do here, but we're doing this quick, and we're not going to go like too far down the rabbit hole. So let's say this one here is a little underexposed, okay? So we're going to adjust the exposure up a little bit, just like you see here. I want to increase the contrast quite a bit. I want to decrease, well, let's see, well, let's leave the highlights where they, let's leave the highlights alone for a few seconds. The shadows are going to come down, so you're going to see here we're going to get some contrast into this image. We're going to change the whites a little bit, what do you think, right about there? We don't want to be overexposed, somewhere around there maybe, and the blacks, we're going to drop the blacks down, yeah, we're going to drop the blacks down quite a bit, um, to something like that. Now, that quickly, that was seconds, right, that's seconds. We went from this washed out image like that to this with high contrast. You can see her blue eyes. You can see it, it's it's a huge difference just like that. Also, we'll probably want to change the saturation up a little bit. I like a little bit more saturation so you can see her skin's getting a little bit um, more ruddy. That's a word, people. It's a word, right? We're adding a little color into her cheeks, so to speak. So we got the saturation up and boom, in 90 seconds, we've made adjustments just like that. If that's all you guys needed and that's how you want, all you want to go down, that's it. Click off the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Do whatever you got to do. Um, there is a little more if you really want to get technical. Um, let's take a look here. The curves. All of the curves are here. So if we hit creative, we can make adjustments. I don't even want to go down to creative. Let's go to curves. We're going to do the RGB curve. You're going to see here like if we want to adjust like the whites, like really specifically, like we want that part and then we want it to something like that, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of showing you guys here, okay, we want it to be, whoa, yeah, see, that's a pretty nice look, not gonna lie, right, maybe we like the reds, but we want to add a little more red into the, into the shot, because it was shot in autumn, so maybe we would do something like that, again, guys, these are completely, you can click them off, you can click them on just like that, this is completely up to you, close the curves, maybe we want to do a color wheel, we want to add some green into this, Boom, you've added green. Just by hitting on the midtones, we've got green into it. It's way too far in, of course, guys. But I just want to show you, that's it. To make color corrections quickly, Lumetri Color is the way to go. It's the best effect by far, in my personal opinion. You can take really, really bad footage and make it pop. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching the tutorial. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.